Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we have the Moto X here. And uh, one of the cool uh, features of the Moto X is touchless control. And we want to show you it, uh, to show you how to set it up and how to use it. And if, just in case, before we get into it, if you're not familiar with touchless control, I'll give you a quick example. Um, you can give it commands, give your Moto X commands without even touching the device. It's always listening for a command, and that command happens to be, OK, Google Now. And then you can say what you want to say. Let me just stop that because I just spoke gibberish there. But let's turn it off. OK, Google Now. Did the Red Sox win last night? Yes, the Red Sox beat the Diamondbacks 4-0. So it's quite simple. Now, if you're turning on your Moto X for the first time, if you just bought the device, you're going to go through your normal setup that you get through with, you know, Android phones, and you're going to put in your Gmail and all that good stuff. You're going to be asked um, y your name, and you'll put your first name in, and that's where when you give the command, OK, Google Now, uh, you'll get this, your name, Robert. Sometimes it says hello, sometimes it says hi, sometimes it says good afternoon or good morning. Uh, but you'll get your name, Robert, there. That's not something that you can change after that I can tell. Uh, however, you shouldn't really need to. Um, that should probably, most likely, only need to be changed if you sell your phone to somebody else. And in that case, you'd be wiping it. Uh, and then it would be starting from scratch again. Uh, if there is a way to change it, let me know in the comments. I don't need, it's not a big deal, but uh, just for informational purposes. Um, now, you'll also get in your notification area, um, the, you'll get, a, I don't have it now because I've already set it up. Like right now, there's protect your phone. These are features of the phone that you'll want to know about. So it'll say uh, tap here for touchless control. And then you'll go into it and it'll walk you through a couple of things and then through recording your phrase, OK Google Now, uh, you've got to say it three times. As you can see, you can just tap the microphone to stop it there and it's quite responsive. Uh, but you can get to it after, if you if you don't have the notification or you want to re-record or whatever, um, it's pr quite easy to get to and set up. Um, you, when you record, you can't have it on a table for whatever reason. Um, actually, I know the reasons because they want to make sure it hits all the microphones. But of course, when you're doing the commands, when you're already set up, it can be on a table, no problem. Uh, you have two choices. You can swipe down, go here, and then tap on settings which is three steps or you can two finger down settings is two steps whichever you want to do doesn't matter and um, you'll see touchless control right here a little bit below the middle you don't have to scroll down or anything they've made it quite easy to get to so you just go right into touchless control now you want to make sure that obviously touches control is checked for on so that means you can use it and the other thing you want is launch when display is off that's also very important as you can see it w it'll it'll work with the phone off or on and that's what you want the other thing is call while locked if your phone is locked is it okay to place a phone call the default is yes and I would think that most people would want that but if you feel like uh, you want to uncheck that you can Confirm before calling. The default is always place without confirming. However, you can still cancel, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, you can also select confirm based on calling history, and always ask before placing. That's going to give you one extra step that you might not want. So try it with the always place uh, call without confirming. Now, right here is where you're going to train your voice. Train launch phrase. Now. Is you're gonna? Say, I would advise you to just record. Okay, um, okay, Google. Now, oh, to, to take it. Sometimes it, you just saw that it responded. Sometimes it responds to just simply okay, Google, and which is quite interesting. So what you can do is actually just record. It doesn't do it all the time. So you might wanna to make it shorter for yourself. Just record okay, and I'll say it slow. Google. <laughs> um, and that way is a little shorter than adding the now to it. Um, or just leave it with the now and then use them both interchangeably. Uh, most of the time I find that it does accept both, but sometimes it just doesn't. I guess it really depends on what's going on. 
Now, you're going to record yourself three times because it's supposed to learn your voice and only respond to your voice. So if your girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, daughter, son, whatever, says it, it won't respond. Now, sometimes it will, depending on noise and depending on how close the voice is like yours. Uh, so it's not 100%. Um, but, uh, you know, that's what it is. So, anyways, you hit the re-record re button here, or icon, and... It's telling me I'm in a little bit of a loudness here. It's probably because of my talking. Okay, now I'm quiet. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. Okay, Google Now. Of course, I said the word continue right before, so we'll start again. Okay, Google Now. Okay, so now they think my phone's on the table. That sometimes happens, so I'm just going to tilt it a little bit. Okay, Google Now. And there you go, it's my first check, and then you just hit continue and do it two more times. And I messed up. <laughs> okay, we'll try it again. Okay, Google Now. Okay, Google Now. So quite simple, as long as you're not speaking. Make sure you're in a quiet room. Obviously, it's going to tell you that. Uh, no sense doing this at a rock concert. So we're done, and basically it's telling you to go ahead and try it. So, anytime I want to say it, okay, Google Now. Did the Red Sox win last night? We already know that answer. I wanted to ask it something else. And I, it picked up all my words there, so forget that. So, okay, Google Now. What time is the Red Sox game? So, there you have it there. The Red Sox are playing the Astros today at 8, 10 p.m. Now what's also cool is that you can look for a place and then also continue the conversation. Um, you do have to say the command uh, again in between, but watch. Uh, let's try it right now. Let's do it again from the display being off. Okay, Google now. Dunkin' Donuts. So it's going to give me the closest Dunkin' Donuts. Now if there's only one listed, sometimes you might get six of them. You can continue and just say navigate to it. Sometimes navigate alone works, but I recommend navigate to it. Uh, so you can obviously tap the microphone, but if say you're driving in your car and you don't want to tap anything, uh, you can just say, okay Google now, navigate to it. Navigating to Dunkin' Donuts. And there it goes, and once that line goes across, I'm going to just stop it right there, then it'll go right into the navigation. Um, now, the other thing that you, well, let's just uh, try this now. I'm going to just do the shorten command and see if it responds. Okay, Google. Well, it didn't this time. Okay, Google. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, Google now. Remind me at 5 p.m. to pick up milk. And there you go. Very simple. And of course, you'll have to tap on. You can make some adjustments if you want and tap uh, to set the reminder. Right now, I won't bother. Let me try the yoke. Okay, Google. There it goes. It does work, as you can see. And it will take the commands. Okay, Google. Who is the President of the United States? Now, the reason why I'm showing you this one, I want to show you a continued conversation again. I'm going to take it two, two steps with this one. And, of course, you've got to say the command in between. So, okay, Google now. How old is he? Barack Obama is 52 years old. And I'll go one step further. Okay, Google now. Okay, Google now. What is his wife's name? Barack Obama's spouse is Michelle Obama. Since so that works very well with the continued conversation. That's something we saw at Google I.O. Um, like I said, you do have to put the command there in between. That's just the way it works. Um, you can also play uh, songs if you want. This is uh, pretty good with the Chromecast. So you can say, uh, OK, Google now. Play Iron Maiden. And as long as you've got play music already set, it'll go right into it, which is pretty cool. So that works pretty good. Um, now, 
what happens if you have a lock screen? Uh, you're not going to be able to do many things if you utilize a lock screen. Uh, you're only going to be able to maybe place phone calls. Um, now I'm going to just go ahead and implement a lock. Right now I don't have a lock screen, but I'm going to go ahead and implement one. And uh, we'll go in the settings here. And security. Screen lock. Pin. Make it simple. Let's make that four ones. Okay, and um, automatically after sleep. So right now, we should be locked. Okay, so if I say, okay, Google now, what time is the Red Sox game? In order to continue, you're going to have to unlock the device. Now, you are allowed to place phone calls. Um, so I'll just hit cancel right now. So I'm going to show you the phone call uh, feature and then I'll show you the cancel. Um, I'm not going to speak right after I say it because it kind of screws up the cancel. You'll see uh, an X where you can tap it and then a blue uh, circle, a blue line that goes around the circle. As long as you say cancel in that, it'll stop the phone call. But right now I'm just going to say, okay, Google now, call Robert Nazarian. Robert Nazarian on their mobile phone. Cancel. And it canceled the call. But if I didn't do that, it would actually go ahead and place the call. To, okay, Google now. Call Robert Nazarian. Calling Robert Nazarian on their mobile This phone. time I won't say it. Calling. And there you go. Now... If you're in your car, um, you don't want to be. You, you you definitely want to use a lock screen. I recommend always using a lock screen. But say you're in your car or you use a Bluetooth headset, the good news is that you can um, bypass it by doing trusted devices. Now let me just unlock. We'll go back into security, and again, uh, security as I'll uh, show you. Just go into settings and scroll down a little bit. Right under location access is security. Um, trusted devices. Um, this is where you can now select devices. Uh, as long as you're connected to that Bluetooth device, that means it's probably with you, uh, assuming you're in your car. Uh, so if you, whatever device you pick uh, that's been paired, uh, so if you're in your car and you're, uh, say, uh, one of our cars is a Ford Sync, uh, it's called uh, in Bluetooth. If as long as I'm in my car, then it will consider it'll keep the phone unlocked. So you'll be able to use any of the commands for maps and things like that. Uh, it will work with headsets as well. So I'll say yes, I'm in, and I'm going to hit the PIN code. And then I can go ahead and select the devices that I want. Um, select the devices you want to trust, and uh, you can also learn more about it. And then, of course, you can add or remove Bluetooth devices. But uh, paired devices, we'll go ahead and hit the check mark there. And we're done. So next time I go in the car, uh, that's my wife's car. Next time I go in my wife's car and it's and it's paired and connected, shall I say, not just paired, connected, uh, the lock screen will be disabled, which is a really nice feature uh, that's built in here. Uh, actually, one of the coolest features, uh, whether you use the uh, Google Now or the touchless control. See, even Google Now it accepts, uh, which is pretty cool. So um, as you can see that you can at times say, okay, Google. So, you know, Google, the whole phrase sometimes to me seems a little long, but um, you can also try just recording OK uh, Google. Um, I'll set it a little slow there. Um, you try just recording that, and it may work, and then you've got it. I was able to do that, um, but sometimes it's still, it's still finicky. I've been, I actually had it record a bunch of other names that I can't get to do it again, like I've had OK, OK Moto. I was able to record an OK Motorola, but it's very finicky. I have no idea why it was very easy a little while ago, but right now I can't do it at all. So you can try that as well, some other ones. I, I wasn't able to get like somebody's name like OK Mike or anything, but I was able to get um, it to record OK Moto, um, OK Motorola, OK Rolla, and OK Google Rolla. Um, sometimes it actually responds to that too. OK Google Rolla? And it does. It responds to that because it sounds similar. Um, now, this isn't the final software that I'm that I'm testing. 
so things may change as well. But in any event, that's it. That's the touchless control. It's pretty easy, pretty nice, uh, and it works very well. This will work even in your pocket, um, assuming you don't have uh, real tight pockets, I guess, but if it's a little loose or whatever, that the microphone is able to get to it, uh, you can ask it questions. Really cool. Touchless control. I hope this helped uh, for you to set it up and for things. I don't know. I forgot. I mentioned if you can um, also say, OK, Google Now, help me. I don't think I went over that with you. Um, so you can go in here and it will give you the commands that you can do. Um, I didn't maybe touch upon all of them. You can send text messages and stuff. And there's different ones here to set reminders and all that good stuff. So you can always say help me and it reminds you there on the main screen. It tells you that you can always uh, do that. Okay, Google now. And there it is. Say help me. So anyways, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.